What's up everybody, it's Neil here with Gadget Hacks, and today we're going over Monkey Keyboard, the keyboard that lets you share links without switching apps. So Monkey Keyboard is a new application that's still in beta but should be released later this month for both Android and iOS. The idea behind Monkey Keyboard is to allow you to share links from other applications without having to switch to the application, allowing you to remain within your email or your messaging app and share it that way. Now to get started, whether you're on iOS or Android, you would just open the Monkey Keyboard application and you'd get started with the setup. Now I've already set it up so I can skip this little tutorial and just go straight into the application. Now there are various themes and what I like is that most of them resemble existing Android keyboards already. Like the one I have is a material dark that looks like the keyboard on Lollipop. So I really appreciate that because it doesn't make it feel like a different keyboard which is kind of the gripe I have with other keyboards. I kind of like the, the stock look so switching to another one kind of bothers me in some way. I don't know why but it does. Then you have languages, settings you can tweak a little bit, you have your preferences, uh, normal things you can do on any keyboard, you can adjust them here like sounds, haptic feedback, things like that. The predictive text is also fairly good, I haven't noticed a difference between this one and the stock um, Google keyboard that I frequently use. So now you probably want to learn how to use it. Now it's pretty simple, you just hit the option right down there for the monkey keyboard and as you can see here are all the applications I can currently share from. Now I feel that it's safe to assume that more may be added in the future. But for right now, there's a lot, and I'm pretty satisfied with the options I have. Like, I can share my location, um, I can send lyrics through Genius, maybe some songs through iCloud, sorry, SoundCloud. Next, let's just go over Spotify. This one's uh, a little tricky sometimes. When I find it, when I want to find an artist, I would just type his name, or their name, her name. Let's say uh, Miley Cyrus. If I type Miley, I'll get some popular songs by her, which is okay, but you may not find the song you're looking for. Uh, if you know the song, just type in the song. Don't put it in after her name because it might make the ruin the results. So let's put, I want to listen to a classic party in the, maybe I'll get it now, Party in the USA by Miley. And I can just tap it and share it. And with Spotify, they can just open it up and they have the option to play it right here on this page or they can open it in the app if they have it, which is convenient. So let's start sharing a few things. Let's start with Yelp. So I'm gonna find some place in Downey that I like. Sometimes the searching is a little difficult, but once you get a sense of it, it's fairly simple. So I'm gonna put Downey, then I'm gonna look for lock and key. It should come up right away. All right, maybe not. So let's put the whole name in there. There you go, lock and key, social drinkery. Now that's the one in Downey. I would just send it and share it. And then this is what your buddy will see when they open up the link. Now if they do have Yelp or the application that you're sharing from, they'll have the option to open it within that app. If not, they'll get this nice screen. So now let's go over one other service. Now as you can see, I have my recents up here. I can share something that I've recently shared, which makes it a little easy. Then let's go ahead and just show you contacts. So let's say I want to share someone I have like Ronda Rousey. Just start typing their name and you'll get your results. So that's Monkey Keyboard. It's definitely trying to make your life easier. I mean, if you're going to be sharing links, which I'm sure most of us do, I do regularly, then definitely try this out and look for it when it comes out. So check out the full guide over at GadgetHacks.com. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for some more awesome and very useful Gadget Hack videos. Thanks, guys.